Hi and welcome back to Simple Home and School. Today I wanted to show you a flip through of the Let's Talk Science series by Masterbooks. They have a kindergarten, level one, level two, level three, and a level four. I do not have the kindergarten or the fourth grade level at this time. You can consistently find this whole curriculum, which is extremely thick, it, and it covers for one year for $35.99 at Masterbooks website or other websites. But if you wait for Masterbooks sales, then they're usually, I think, an extra 5% off of that. So for $35.99, this is a great price and you get a lot out of the curriculum. Um, so let's dive into a little flip through of each of them. So let's start with level one. This could equate to first grade or you can use this for older kids. I use this for both levels of my kids at the same time, at the time I had a kindergarten and a second grader, I believe when I used this. So let's look at the table of contents first. Now you can use this for a whole year and they have a schedule laid out all for you or you can do it quickly like I did with the second and third level and you can do two of them in a year. So here is a master material list. This will be in the same in each book so I won't show it in each book but it tells you each week what materials you need and the thing that I love about this is for the most part everything I already had in my house. So that's always nice not to having to buy extra stuff. This is what their schedule looks like. It is a three-day schedule, so science three days a week for first grade. Obviously, you can change it however you want, but it schedules out the whole year. And let's jump in. I tore a couple pages out, so this is actually starting us on week four. Day one, light waves, and this is what you would do. Here's your um, materials that you need for the week. Day one, you're going to read this and this. And then they have and this and there's a couple questions for you to discuss and that's it for day one so it's pretty short and sweet this is a christian um publication so there is bible references to this but i actually love the bible references um because it gives us a whole nother way to just kind of dive into that section of the bible at the time as we're at, as we're reading this this is your activity for day one Day two, you're doing a prism experiment and you're looking at light waves. Day three, and you're doing just some memory work if you want to. And that's it. So let's look at day one. There's your reading, there's your activity. Day two, here's your experiment. Options for your experiment and your discussion questions, day three, and that's it for the week. The thing that I love about this curriculum is I feel like they spend a couple days diving deep into one topic, and then it helps your child just master that one topic. So we'll be talking about thunderstorms for three days, and it's just diving deep into thunderstorms. And then typically what we like to do is we like to watch YouTube videos or get books from the library that coincide with this that the kids can just peruse at their leisure to add to what we're learning. Let's look at the second book, Adventures in the Physical World. Me personally, as the books go on from level one to level two to level three, each level just gets better than the previous level, I feel like. And they just get a lot more fun. So this one has pulleys, gears, levers, electricity, sun, moon, constellation, solar system, astron um, meteorology, clouds, mountains, and so on. Uh, with this unit, I bought the Lego Chain Reaction Kit off of Amazon to do with these first couple. Uh, Magic School Bus books are great to go with these first couple. Or if you want to watch the Magic School Bus um, videos on YouTube that have to do with these topics. That's also a lot of fun just to add to this and it's an easy way you can just do it from the house. Again your material list and your schedule and we'll just kind of pop into the middle. 
So here, potential and kinetic energy. Day one, you're going to read this. And there's your activity and your discussion questions. Day two, here's your experiment. Day three, reading and response. What I do love about this book is it still has that elementary experiment. They're all really basic experiments. And the days that we didn't have the supplies, we were able to find those experiments on YouTube if I just typed in generally what they were doing. Uh, so my children have just loved being able to do hands-on science, but then also they are just learning a lot. There's a lot of discussion that's going on. And like the previous book, you're just deep diving into a specific topic for several days. And again, this is a three-day week for um, level two. Now, some of the activities as my daughter has gotten older were a little too young for her, so she just skipped them. And let's move on to level three. This is my favorite book of the Let's Talk Science series, and I will show you why. Here is our table of contents. So we studied ecology, different climates, different zones, and then there was projects that they did with this. All right, so we are, these are our diorama biome projects that we do, and that's what we loved about this course this time. So here's our supply list for each week. Here's our schedule and this is moving into a five day a week schedule. If you want to hasten it, it is easy to combine a couple days. So typically we would do day one, two, and three on Monday, day four and five on Tuesday, and then we would one, two, and three on Thursday or Wednesday, two and three on Thursday, just so we could get through it quickly because we need to, to get two books done this year for our future plans. So let's dive right in. Here's your day one. So we have our introduction. And that was a pretty short reading. Just two, day, two pages. Here's our day two. Two pages. Day three. Two pages. Day four. So it's a reading and then an activity and a day five. Day five typically has these science notebook drawings. Um, so they request, they, they recommend that you have a science notebook that you can do your interpretations of the chapter on the last day. And my children loved doing these and they loved seeing how the other uh, students interpreted what was being said and they liked to compare theirs. Let's look at this. So day one, day two, reading an activity, day three, reading experiment, day four, reading digging deeper activity, and your day five is your science notebook. So let me get on to one of the diorama projects. So you can see what is suggested for that. This was a study about Yellowstone, which was really cool because we had just been to Yellowstone. So it just made everything really real. Okay, here's the Boreal Biome Project. So here's day one, you have your lesson. Day two, they are getting you, oh, day one, they're getting you started on the background of the diorama. So we just used old Amazon boxes or shoe boxes that we had in the house. Day two, they have you adding a little bit more to the diorama. Day three, 
they are just really guiding you through, you know, what to do and how to create things yourself. You're making some trees. Day four, some other parts of the environment. And day five is just finishing up. And then I had my daughters write up a, just a paragraph about what they learned and taped it onto their shoe box. So that is the Let's Talk level three. If you have any questions or wanted to see anything else, let me know.